This lesson will show how to use Desmos to graph two functions on the same coordinate plane, adjust the window, and determine any points of intersection. Remember, the points of intersection would represent the solutions to the system. In the first example, we were given y equals 5x minus 11 and y equals 3x plus 3. Let's go to desmos.com and click Start Graphing. We enter the equations on the left. In cell 1, we enter y equals 5x minus 11. Either press enter or click in cell 2 and enter y equals 3x plus 3. Notice automatically the graphs appear on the coordinate plane on the right. However, we do have to adjust the window to determine the point of intersection. There's a couple ways of doing this. One way is to adjust the window manually by clicking on the wrench in the upper right hand corner and adjusting the interval for the x and y axes here toward the bottom. Or if we click out of this window, we can try zooming out by clicking the minus button here on the right. Let's try zooming out. Notice now we can see the point of intersection here. So we could use this window, but let's now adjust the window manually to get a better view. Let's change the interval for the x-axis from let's say negative five to 10, and the y-axis from let's say negative five to 40. To do this, we click on the wrench, go down to the x-axis, enter negative five, tab 10, go down to the y-axis, enter negative five, tab 40, click outside this window, and now we have a nice view of the graphs as well as the point of intersection. We can also reposition the graph by clicking and holding and dragging the graph to a new position. To find the point of intersection, we first click on the point of intersection once, and then a second time, and the ordered pair appears. Seven comma 24 is the point of intersection. Let's go ahead and record this. This also indicates if this is a system of equations, x equals seven and y equals 24 is the solution. Let's look at our second example where we have two quadratic equations or quadratic functions. Once again, we begin by entering the equations into Desmos. Going back to Desmos, let's clear cell one and enter y equals 0 0.25, open parenthesis, x minus three, close parenthesis, raise the power of two, from the keyboard, I pressed shift six and then two, or you can enter the exponent of two by clicking on the Desmos keyboard and clicking A squared. Let's go ahead and close this, minus five. Let's clear the second equation and enter y equals negative one divided by 10 right arrow x squared plus two. Notice how we can see both graphs on the coordinate plane Let's go ahead and reposition this by clicking, holding, and dragging the graph. Let's also adjust the y-axis manually. Let's change the y-min to negative 10 and the y-max to, let's say, 15. Click on the wrench, go down to the y-axis, highlight the minimum, highlight the minimum, enter negative 10, tab, positive 15, click out of this window, and we have a better viewing window. Let's determine the points of intersection. First click on one of the graphs, and then click the points of intersection. Notice how we have approximations for the ordered pairs run into three decimal places. Let's go ahead and record these. One point of intersection is approximately negative 2.119, 1.5, and the second point of intersection is approximately 6.405 comma negative 2.102. Again, these would be the approximate solutions to the system of equations. I hope you found this helpful.